Today we will be taking the intercity train from Utrecht to Dusseldorf. I believe it goes on to Frankfurt, but I'm not going there today. Let's go. I apologize. I guess I'm not the best at intros for some reason. Um, so anyway, I'm about to board the ICE high-speed train from Utrecht to Dusseldorf. This is a German train company run by the Deutsche Bahn, or DB for short, which I've never been on before, so I'm quite excited for the trip. My train arrives in like 20 minutes, and I think it's delayed, so. I'm also a complete nerd, and I know that this is a train, but for some reason, I still had to be here 40 minutes before the train departs, because, you know, you never know. You never know what could happen. Anyways, I hope one day I'll be brave enough to arrive at the station five minutes before the train departs. I mean, I guess it should be possible to do that. Who knows, maybe one day I'll have enough courage to do that. Anyway, let me stop talking, because the train's here. Yes, I was stuck here for two minutes because I'm just too nice and I let everybody pass. I don't know why, but I do. So, anyway, back to the video. Okay, I'm on the train. Um, first impressions is good. My seat's like right there. No, actually my first impression is I booked this, uh, a window seat and I didn't get a window seat. But that sucks. Let's go check out the seat. So yeah, the seat. Starting with this nice footrest that can hold in many different positions depending on your liking. I always think it's important for a seat to have a footrest because it really expands the seat's comfort level. I know it might sound strange, but I think it's really true. The seat also has a great foldable table. No complaints at all except for me not being able to open it, but that's definitely more a me problem than the table's problem if you know what I mean. There's also this little pouch to store things like magazines or water bottles or anything you'd like. I mean, I guess you could put a baby in there, but I'm not really sure why you want to do that. It's kind of weird. Even though I did see this lady attempt to do that, but it didn't really work. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm obviously kidding. Chill out. And finally, the seat had good armrests that could fold up and down, which is a definite must. I can't stand when an armrest doesn't fold upwards. It's so frustrating. Now, I do have to say, overall, the seats felt a bit busted and used. I don't know how long this train has been operating, but maybe it's time for a little update. Also, there's overhead storage above each seat and a large luggage storage in the middle of the cabin. It was completely full though. People were racing to get there to be able to put their luggage. There must be a way to solve the luggage situation. Where's the art? I'm missing art. If you know what I mean, if you've seen my past videos, I miss some art in here. Right, I totally ignored that there's graffiti everywhere, but I just, in the other train there was too, so it just kind of like, I mean, I kind of like it. It kind of fits the vibe. It gives train, train toilet vibes. And it's not ugly. It's kind of pretty. Well, apart from this, I like this one. Yeah. It's definitely smaller than what I'm used to, but it looks really clean, I gotta say. There's a sink that I understand how to use. There's a sensor, I just go like that and water comes on. Soap. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool feature. Disinfectant for your toilet seat, so you can clean the toilet seat. Toilet looks great. I would actually use it. Simple bath uh, button to flush the toilet. Paper. You like a clean WC? So do other passengers. Huh? Oh, so... <laughs> so... That's a weird sentence, right? So do other so do other passengers. I just read it wrong. Also, we have to wear masks in Germany, so... It, this is the wrong one, but I'll change later on. When we actually get into Germany, I'll put the right one on. Anyway, let's go look for the food cart. Oh, four. Thank you. Yeah.
seems like there's also a bathroom for handicapped. There's a bathroom and there's like this cool lounging area. What is this place? Does anyone know if you can just sit here? If you feel like it or... So this room that I found is located in the second class carriage. At first I thought that maybe it was something for first class, but I'm pretty sure it's just a quiet zone for second class passengers. So yes, you can sit here if you please, but you must be quiet, which is not what I'm doing right now. So let me leave and be polite. Now let's head over to the onboard bar located in the next carriage, right in the middle of the train. Oh yeah, and this sign showed how fast we are going, which is fast, but it's not that fast compared to other high speed lines, but that's because the train shares a track with local trains that have a top speed of about 140 kilometers an hour. Time to check out the onboard bar. This food cart is great. I love both the standing area and the seating area. It's great to know that you have other places to eat apart from your own chair. Here's the menu. Now, my German is not amazing, so I'm just pretending to be able to understand what it's saying. Well, Loki is similar to Dutch, so I do understand some things. This is a cool feature. I didn't know that it had like a seated food area. Anyway, I probably have to go. Sorry, I was just looking. <laughs> I went back to my seat and just enjoyed the rest of the ride. And just like that, the trip was over. It felt like a second. The trip was only under two hours long, but we did get into Dusseldorf about 13 minutes late, which is not something I'm used to because Dutch trains are basically always on time. Okay, we made it to Dusseldorf. Okay, I have a few last second uh, conclusions. The seats are very uncomfortable after like an hour. They just get very uncomfortable. I didn't know how to sit anymore. And what else? I had some other thing. The other thing I already mentioned, and it's that the train arrived pretty late. You know, 13 minutes in the train world is late. And also don't mind my nose. That's what happens when you wear a mask for two hours. I don't know, but that, that was just like annoying me. It was really bugging me at one point. Anyway, this is the end of the video. I hope you liked it. I'm now in Dusseldorf. I will be doing more things, so keep watching my channel. And peace out. Have a good day. Have a good weekend. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. Bye.